We're at Alcoa Warwick, which is the largest, uh, I, guess, I guess it's considered the largest vertically integrated aluminum mill operation in North America. That's correct. And I'm with Evan Quinley. He's the operations manager here. So tell us a little bit about this amazing facility we call Alcoa. So here at uh, Alcoa Warwick Operations, we have roughly three, uh, three segments. We have our power plant, we have our smelter, and then we have what we call the rolling mill, which takes the uh, aluminum that we produce at our smelter and converts it into coil stock that's used in the food and beverage industry. Uh, how many individuals actually work here at Alcoa? Right now we have roughly uh, just under 1,800 employees, so I'd say in the 1780s. And based upon Alcoa's uh, worldwide global uh, footprint, uh, what percentage of the workers from Alcoa are based here globally? Yeah, that, that puts us uh, as the largest plant in Alcoa's system. So we, are, we have roughly 13 to 14 percent of Alcoa's total global workforce. Well, Alcoa has been here for over six decades. I mean, what do you think that Alcoa means for Warwick County? We certainly understand what it means here, but from your perspective, what does it mean to be a part of, of uh, Indiana's Great Southwest? Yeah, I can tell you um, 60 years is a long legacy, and uh, on a weekly basis I experience that when I welcome all of our new hires that come on board. A lot of the folks talk about uh, the re their, they had family actually retire from here, and as a matter of fact, we just celebrated our fourth 50th, uh, 50th year tenured employee uh, uh, just last week. So it was, uh, it's an incredible legacy that we have here in the, in the area, in the community, but generations of families are working at this plant. And that's something that's really special. You're not going to find that many other places. Exactly what do you manufacture here? Because it, certainly Alcoa, there are a lot of products that Alcoa manufactures, but what do they manufacture here at work? Here at work, we just make coil stock. So it's a it's a 40,000 pound coil that will be distributed to a can producer uh, where they will make end and tabs for uh, food and beverage cans and also make body stock for food and beverage cans. So out of that with the smelter, I mean, so you're recycling some of this, but you also have some primary aluminum you're bringing together. I mean, what's that kind of look like? What's that process itself? Oh, it's definitely a challenging process. So we're, uh, as a matter of fact, we've just, uh, uh, we're in the process of commissioning our new uh, coated scrap melter, which is the largest furnace of its kind in North America. It, and what it can do is it can allow us to purchase coated scrap, uh, the, you know, like things that you would find in food cans where it's gold right. and clear and white. And we can take that, remove that coating in an environmentally sound way and then reclaim those metal units uh, in order to produce higher, higher recycled scrap, uh, higher recycled content product. And that's kind of what everyone wants. You want to have this sustainable. You want to be able to renew the product. Absolutely. We're seeing a tremendous um, uh, demand from our customers. Uh, they want to see uh, higher and higher recycle content. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going with where the market goes. And that's part of the reason why we've just uh, uh, commissioned this furnace. Well, certainly recycling saves energy. But an amazing part of what you do here is that you generate your own electricity. I mean, how large is that operation? Oh, it's, it's, it's a huge operation. Uh, you know, the, we have four generating units. Uh, we have three industrial units that provide power to the plant, and then we co-own a fourth unit with Vectron uh, where we're able to sell power back onto the open market. So each, uh, in total, uh, we're, we're capable of generating about 785 megawatts. So if you don't understand how, what that is, that probably would run the entire community of Evansville and portions of Southwest Indiana just at this one plant. So it's an amazing amount of energy consumption. And in particular, the very fact that you, could, you, you also have your own coal mines, you're generating this electricity here, it makes it a much more sustainable and energy efficient operation. Absolutely, I mean, owning your own coal reserves is, uh, you know, is, a, is a big competitive advantage. Uh, currently, though, we're not mining our coal reserves because the price of coal is favorable sure. enough where we can get it from other operations. So what's next up for Alcoa? What's that next up here that you'll see over the next two to five years? Yeah, so 60-year plant, um, you know, it does have some deep-rooted uh, manufacturing practices uh, and, and ways we do things. 
And you know, now it's time to bring this plant into the 21st century. So for example, uh, we're currently creating a digital twin of our ingot department. Uh, so in, you know, in the background, we're gonna have this artificial intelligence uh, telling us the most optimal path to, uh, to get the end result, which is ingots, more ingots sure. cast. Uh, that's a really exciting uh, new technology that we're deploying there. But also from, a, you know, from an environmental standpoint, uh, one of the things that I'm most excited about is uh, we are pursuing a certification through the Aluminum Stewardship Initiative, or ASI, uh, which will say that uh, you know, we are um, uh, you know, good, good uh, we're an aluminum producer who is a, a good steward of the community and the environment. Uh, we're gonna do that through increasing recycled content, and then obviously there's, there's a lot of other check boxes that go with that. Uh, but it'll be something that will be really remarkable for this plant to achieve. When one thinks about sort of the, the traditional kinds of manufacturing that you're doing at Alcoa with the smelting in terms of producing aluminum ingot, and then you're blending that with artificial intelligence, cognitive technologies to really push Alcoa well into the 21st century. I mean, how exciting is that for you being here? Oh, it's incredible, and it's you know, it's it's an it's an amazing opportunity to lead such great people uh, here, and then see them get energized over over things like that because, you know, it's very easy in a, in, a, in a heavy manufacturing to just say, hey, we're going to keep doing things the way we the way always you've always done, done it, sure. And then when you see that light go on over, you know, in people's eyes, that they get really excited and take ownership of those ideas and run with them and bring them to fruition, uh, it's, it's amazing. And, it, you know, that's where I get my energy from being the operations manager here. We're excited that you could join with us today. Evan, I really want to thank you for allowing us to be here right in Indiana's Great Southwest.